Good evening. This is Weekdays with Wendy. I'll be reading from the Love Your Neighbor No Exceptions flip calendar. Now don't forget, you can get one if you don't have a Love Your Neighbor No Exceptions flip calendar. You can get one by going by the downtown or Edmond church campus, picking one up, or calling the church or contacting us online, and we can arrange to get one to you. So I'll be reading from the Love Your Neighbor No Exceptions calendar today, January 26th. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. And that's from 1 John chapter 3, verse 14. Now, there's an interesting connection from death to life, but this sense of life and death and love. Now, love is a theme that's found in the letter of 1 John, also 2 and 3 John. We don't know for certain who the author was. There's no author identified in 1 John, much as there was no author identified in the Gospel of John. In the letters 2 and 3 John, someone who is called the Elder, they're referred to as the Elder, is the one who is attributed as, a write, as writing those letters. And because of the similarities of theme and writing style, we believe that the same person wrote the Gospel of John and 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Now, traditionally, we believe that to be the Apostle John, the disciple. We don't know for certain. And one of the commentaries says that if the author of these important biblical texts didn't think that revealing the authorship was vital to the message of that text, then it's not vital for us to know either. But certainly uh, we can look uh, to the disciple John as a possible candidate. Now, love is a theme throughout the Gospel of John and the letters of John. And this connection of life and death intertwined with the importance of love is something you also see. In the Gospel of John, uh, there are very familiar love passages. Uh, one example is John 3.16. You, if you ever go to a sporting event, you see people holding up a sign, John 3.16. It always makes me kind of cringe because John 3.17 was meant to be read with 3.16. And so John 3.16 and 17 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. And then 3.17 goes on to say, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And so the intention of God is the world's salvation. And that's why I think it's important that 3.17 is read with 3.16. But another very familiar love scripture found in the Gospel of John is where Jesus said, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. And so you, again, you hear uh, this association with life and death and the importance of love. And this one helps us understand today's uh, calendar reading. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Well, if you look at the scripture, Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for his, for his friends. The ultimate show of love is being willing to lose your life for someone else. That you're willing to lay down your life uh, for the sake of somebody else's uh, safety or well-being. We tend to think to the extreme that somebody's giving up their life, but it doesn't necessarily mean to that to extreme. Uh, greater love hath no man than to lay down his life, than to focus his entire life on someone else, 
or on others. That is the greatest love we can have. Then we are willing to forsake our own lives, forsake our own pursuits and well-being to focus on others. And so here in today's scripture, we know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. And so this is kind of a flip of the Gospel of John phrase, greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for another uh, or for his friend. And so the ultimate show of love is the fact that you are willing to lay down your life. Here, we know that we've passed from life to death because we love each other. And so uh, it's kind of the flip of that. You get the proof of a new life because you love. Now, we're called to live this life that's surrounded by love, that's uh, permeated by love. We're called to lay down our lives for one another. You haven't really lived if you haven't loved. And the fullest life possible to truly pass from death, the old person that we were, to life in Christ is to love one another. It's our theme this year. It was our theme last year and we felt it was a good year to carry it on. Love your neighbor, no exceptions. It's because of this, we pass from an old life to new. We pass from death to life because we love each other. Have a great night.